it's going to be harder for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now on Tuesday evening, um, today is Friday, and on Tuesday evening our group uh, took a little field trip and we found a home that uh, I was able to help cut and gut is the phrase that's used <laughs> four years ago. And um, our team leader, George, uh, was able to find the location because um, we were lost. And we were able to find uh, the home. And people are in the home now. They just moved in in August. And I was just very much moved to be able to see this home, a house, a, a, this house, a home again because the people were there and they were so excited to see us. In fact, they, they got the picture from four years ago, the last team that came down. And, are you in it? Are you in it? And they just <laughs> thanked us and thanked us. And it was, it was just moving to me to see that this house is now a home again and beautiful. Yeah, I just, there have been so many opportunities this week. I've done something different every day, uh, met different people, um, and every day, every day, there was a Katrina story. And I, and they, um, Kathy talked about us being fresh ears to hear the Katrina story. Um, and every day, um, I felt like I was a set of fresh ears, and they ha they need to tell that story. They need to help us understand what what it is. Um, the one woman that we visited, she kept saying, God has been so good to me. He's carried me through all of this. And she has had multiple losses of physical things, multiple losses of deaths in her family. Uh, her neighbor died. And all she kept saying, God has been so good. He's taken care of me. But I just need a hug. <laughs> I just need someone to help me remember that. And that's what I felt like, you know, we were a fre not only were we a fresh set of ears, we were a fresh set of arms to wrap around them and say, God is taking care of you in ways that are amazing. And, and we saw that day after day, and whether it was a child in a, in a, in a school or in a, at the, the community center, uh, if it was the the woman at the battered um, family center, yeah, mm -hmm. who was very battered, mm -hmm. um, knowing that she had a place to go mm -hmm. that was safe and was going to help her, mm -hmm. um, and it was a Christian-based organization. They were going to help her find her way. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have just felt like I've been so privileged mm -hmm. to come here and so blessed. Yes. I'm taking so much home. Yeah. <laughs> very it's, much. It's, it's a great experience, and you learn a lot just uh, meeting the people. And the lady that we were helping, she kept saying, well, I just don't have anybody. And I said, well, you've got us today. You've got us just today. Hugs you want. <laughs> and she goes, well, I'm locking the door. You're not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> and she would turn, I'll take a hug now. <laughs> oh, and, and to think, there's no one to hug her. And no, uplift, there isn't. uplift no. her she every day. No one. Yes. They're all gone. No and friends, no family. No friends, we, we, we no family. We take that for granted. We, yeah. we will go home. No church family. Nothing. It's all gone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back in our regular routine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. still and I, I, the other thing that it really came through to me this week is, at home, if something happens to me, um, I have a death in my family, everyone around me, all my family, my friends, whatever, my church family, they all are there for me. Here, everyone is so consumed with dealing with their own hurts and losses that once everybody the next person has just as many hurts and losses and the next person they really do need fresh arms they do because they they all of them are struggling because of what's happened to them yeah. I just hope that after all the construction is over with that people still come because that emotional need, yeah. that community service is needed. We, we just need so much. Um, and just the people are hurting so bad. Just the touch. That's all they need. So I would encourage anyone that wants to step outside of their box, oh. just come, come to Camp Restore. Yes. Because it is, 
it is a privilege, as Linda said, to be able to hear stories and listen and know that we're all God's children and we could someday be in a situation where we will need that and pray that uh, we'll be able to move ahead as, as the New Orleans victims have. So. And we'll never be able to step back inside of our box, will we? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 So come, yes. 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 What a great smile you, you gave. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. It's been a week, hasn't it? Uh -huh. It's hard week. to go home. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's a hard to go home. Mm -hmm. Can we stay? <laughs> <laughs> will they take us another week? Let's go in there and ask Kathy. I She'll bet. take us another week. I bet she will. <laughs>